asymptote. So let me explain to you very simply, very simply, okay? So simple. Uh, oblique asymptote means, oblique asymptote means if degree of numerator is one more than degree of denominator, denominator, we have oblique asymptote. We have oblique asymptote. To find that, to find that, we use polynomial division, polynomial division, or long division, or synthetic division, whatever we have. I mean, shortly, we are using division. And after division, we will have the quotient, the quotient. So the quotient will be our oblique asymptote. Quotient will be our, our oblique asymptote. So for example, when I look at this, this line right now, it's oblique asymptote. And this is vertical asymptote, but this is oblique asymptote. So oblique asymptotes, ladies, could be line or it could be even some kind of parabola, it could be. So we will see in the exercises how will be. Till here, do you have any question? What is the oblique asymptote or when we have the oblique asymptote? No, it's clear. Okay, good. Now, so when you look at this question, do we have oblique asymptote or not? When you look at in the first glance, what can- Yes, yes we have yes. because the degree of the numerator is Excellent. greater. Just one second, one second. Okay, since as you said, degree of numerator, which is x squared plus x minus eight is equal to two, and degree of denominator, which is one, and two is one more than degree of the denominator. So we have oblique. So to find the oblique asymptote, we just use the polynomial division. How about the polynomial division? Let us remember. Now, we have x squared and we have x plus three. If I multiply by x, x. and x plus three. Three x. And it will be x minus three x, which is negative two x minus eight. Check it, please. Till now? Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. And now we have x, sorry, we have now x plus three, and now negative two x minus eight. How can I continue after this step? What should I say? By two or by negative two? Negative two. Maybe. Negative two. Two times x, negative two x. Negative two times three, negative six. When we Subtract negative and negative will be positive, so zero. Negative eight plus six, right? Plus six will be negative six. fourteen. Negative two. So how can I write down the question? X squared plus x minus eight divided by x plus three is equal to quotient, which is this, plus divisor and uh, sorry, remainder and divisor. Like this, I think, as I remember. Yes or no? What yeah. So yeah. now, when you take the limit, dear ladies, x approaches to plus or minus infinitive, since this is number, or you can say that x to the power of zero, you know, all the numbers could be expressed 
x to the power of zero. Why x to the power of zero means one. So zero is less than one. Remember that practical rule we have studied when degree of numerator less than degree of denominator, limit is directly zero, we said. So it will be directly zero. Then limit of this function, our function will be infinitive minus two, infinitive minus two will be infinitive. Since we got the infinitive, we say that we have oblique asymptote, but no need to double check these things, no need, okay? When you find the quotient, this is the theoretical part, you can do this. When you find the quotient, it's over. So y is equal to x minus two is an oblique asymptote, it's finished. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now in the question it says determine any asymptote. Okay, oblique we have. Vertical do we have? Vertical do we have? What was the vertical asymptote? Where the function yeah, undefined. Yeah, Where the function undefined. And so x plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to negative three. I mean mustn't be zero. It means that X mustn't be negative three. It means that X is equal to negative three is vertical asymptote. What about, do we have horizontal asymptote? Do we have horizontal asymptote? No. Uh, no. no, we have oblique. We have oblique, but by the way, what was the definition? Limit of function as goes X plus minus infinity, it's a real number. It's a horizontal asymptote. So the limit, since two is greater than one, it's positive infinity. Okay? So there is no horizontal asymptote. It must be a real number. For example, if this is x squared and if this is five, y is equal to one over five is horizontal asymptote. Since this is x squared, this is x squared, coefficient one, coefficient five, one over five. Or if this is x squared, and this is x to the power of three, for example, something like this, something like that. Limit zero. This function will be zero. So y is equal to zero, it's horizontal asymptote. But we don't have these cases here, okay? okay? We don't have these cases. So to sum up, we have vertical asymptote, which is x is negative three. We have horizontal asymptote none, that means we don't have. And oblique, let me say OA, Oblique asymptote is, I think it was x minus two. Y is equal to x minus two, not x minus two. Y is equal to x minus two. Now, other question, intercepts. What does intercept means? When x is zero, what is y? Okay, so let's do it. Zero, zero, zero. That means negative eight over three. So zero comma negative eight over three, the coordinate of the y intercept. What about the x-intercept? When y is equal to zero, what is x? So zero equals x squared plus x minus eight divided by x plus three. Cross product zero equals x squared plus x minus eight. How can I do this eight? Two, four, no. So it's difficult. I should use delta. Delta was b squared minus four ac. Since I didn't factorize this, so a is here one, B is here one, C is here negative eight. So it will be one minus four times one times negative eight, which you also check the operations. I don't want to make calculation mistake. One minus four, so one plus uh, 32, right? 32, so it's 33. Now, what is the X one? Negative B minus root delta over two A. What is the X two? negative b plus positive root delta over 2a. So what will be root then? Uh, negative b. So negative one minus root 33 over 2a, two times one. And what is the other root? Negative one plus root three, two times one. That's it. So, and then this number comma zero, I mean this number, And the other, these are now our x-intercepts. And then anything else? 
domain. What is the domain? All the real numbers except negative three. Domain is all the real numbers except negative three. Okay, anything about this delta? Do you need extra explanation or it is clear for you how to find the quadratics? No, it's clear. It's clear. So let us see now in our book, the solution, how is it given step by step, let's go. Okay, so it's used as a decimal, but no need, leave it like this so you don't have calculator. And then these are the results. Mister? Yes. What if for the quadratic equation, I can put it directly to the calculator and I can get directly the decimal numbers? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. I mean, if you have scientific calculator, so they are solving, yes, you are right. It's possible, okay? Just, I wonder what is this? Why this is negative infinity? I didn't understand. So we don't need this. This is okay here. Now yeah, this is okay here. Anyway, who is coming? Reza and Isa. Okay. Now let's go another step. So now let's have a look together. Let's have a look together. Now this is the R vertical asymptote. As we talk, X is negative three. Now, how can we draw the oblique asymptote? Since this is a line, we will say this when X is zero, Y is zero minus two, negative two. So zero comma negative two. When Y is zero, what is X? When Y is zero, negative two, take the other side, positive two. So X is two, it means that two comma zero. So zero comma negative two, X is zero, Y is negative two here. X is two, Y is zero, X is two, Y is zero here. So when I join, it will be oblique asymptote. And do not forget, always, always use dashed lines for all kinds of asymptotes. Okay. So it must be dash line, not line. It's just like this. Any question? No. no. Okay, we may pass. So we talk then. Okay, it's your turn. Please, I'm giving to you five, five minutes maybe. Okay, five minutes. In five minutes, so and send to me chat screen A, B, C, D. Which one is the answer? If you need help, you can ask me, no problem.
Okay. There are 11 results, 11 answers. Uh, let me check. One of us says C, all the other says B. So one of us says C, all the other says B. So let us solve together. I didn't read the question. Let me start now. How can I start the solution? Since this is test question, I start like this. First of all, X plus two. The answer is B, sorry. Uh, yeah, how can I start? X plus two is equal to zero. X is minus two. It is vertical asymptote. I check this. Vertical asymptote, vertical asymptote. So this is not since it is two. So this is vertical asymptote. It's okay. And then I check two is greater than one. That means there is an oblique asymptote. So it says there is oblique asymptote. Yes, 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 and yes. And now I can eliminate directly D, Y. Be careful, dear ladies. When we divide X plus two, I and mean, when we divide, sorry, X squared minus three X plus one, the quotient must be always less than our dividend, less than our numerator. But here, the quotient is x squared minus 5x. So eliminate this directly. Am I clear what I mean? When we make a division, the degree of the quotient, if this is second degree, it must be first degree, maximum first degree, maximum. So this is second degree, eliminate directly. And then what it says, uh, what it says, I can't read, vertical asymptote, oblique asymptote, y is equal to x, could be, I don't know, but it could be. Y is equal to X minus five, could be. So I have to check it. The what about the others? X intercept and Y intercept. So Y intercept is zero five, Y intercept zero five. These two things are same. So difference is here. Difference is X intercept. So if I find the X intercept, that means I don't need to find the oblique asymptote also. But if oblique asymptote is easy, let's go for oblique asymptote. So let's go for oblique asymptote since I, I think it's easy. So let me do it here. X plus two, X squared minus three X plus one. So if I multiply by X, X and X, X squared plus two X, when I simplify X squared minus X squared zero, negative three X, negative two, negative five X plus one. That means I have to do negative five, negative five, times uh, x, negative five x, and negative five times negative 10. So it will be, uh, let's say 11. Actually, it's not important what number is that. This is important. Caution is x minus five, which is here. So this is the answer. Okay, that's finished. Uh, if you wish, you can even check the x intercept. How can you find when this is zero? So let me clean the screen better to work. So to find the x-intercept, y is equal to zero. So cross product, zero is equal to. Now I cannot factorize this. I have to use delta. A is one, B is negative three, C is one. So delta is B squared. So negative three squared, nine. Four times A times C, nine minus four, which is five. So Delta is five. So X one is negative B plus minus root Delta over two A. So it should be root five in the solution. Root five is only here. So this is solution. Is it okay? Understand different solutions also? Yeah. Okay, yes. let's go on. Yeah, it is excellent question. I'm gonna talk about this. Please focus on, please focus on here. Vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote. First of all, horizontal is so simple. Let's start. Limit as X approaches to plus minus infinity, the function H of X equals directly one. Is it true? Degree is two, degree is two, coefficient one, coefficient one, one over one, which is one. So y is equal to one is horizontal asymptote. That's finished. Now vertical, be careful now. If you say directly this, x squared minus x minus six is zero, 
and then two and three, negative, I think, two times negative three, negative six, two plus negative three, negative one. So x plus two, x minus three, zero. So x is negative two, x is positive three, vertical asymptote. You may say this. Till here, do you have any question? Since negative two and positive three makes the denominator zero, that means function will be undefined. That means we have vertical asymptote. Any question? No. No. Now, my dear students, we can say this, but if you remember, I told you that always check the numerator, check the numerator that can you simplify? Yeah, X minus three. In, in denominator. So when I rewrite this, X minus three times X plus three, I can write the numerator. Why nine means three square. So a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Now, and this denominator, when we factorize this, so one minute, yeah, x minus three. So what I see, this one, this one simplifies. So only x plus two left. Since only x plus two left, x is equal to negative this vertical asymptote. Why? We can remove and this is called removable discontinuity if you remember removable discontinuity at this point forget about discontinuity not important now so vertical asymptote is only x equals negative two since we can cancel out the other factor with the numerator so we have only one vertical asymptote any question mister no now let me finish. Sir. Yes. What if I two I put the two values negative two and negative three? Where is negative two? Negative? Why negative two? The negative values two? Of positive three. Firstly, not yeah, negative. Yeah, negative two and three. Wrong. Why wrong? Three hmm. is the answer of this question. False. False means in the graph. Let's say this is make undefined. So we do like this. For example, this is now in this question three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. False means, I mean, if you cancel out, it means that number, it's being the whole. We will see in the question now. What about the domain? And also you can guess this uh, answer of your question. Uh, it's two. Let me tell you this, what is the domain? Can you tell me what is the domain? Domain is all the real numbers, except, be careful, two. tell two. me. Two and the negative three. Yes, three. you can say the teacher, but we are just uh, tell me canceling out. But this is the original function, and in the original function, if you put the negative three, so negative three squared nine, nine minus nine zero. Yes, you are right. Negative three squared is nine. Nine minus minus three. It's twelve. Let me do it. Let us do it together negative three squared minus negative three minus six. So nine plus three minus six, 12 minus six, which is zero over six, which is zero. It was negative three or positive three, by the way. It was positive, positive three, not three. negative three. Positive three. And negative so when we put the positive three, no. uh, let me do it again. Three squared nine or nine, zero. Positive three squared nine, nine minus three, six, six minus six, zero, indeterminate. So if the thing is indeterminate, we have to think again and again, okay? But when you put two, two square four, four minus nine, negative five. So two square is four, four minus two. two I think it's negative four, two. Four minus mm -hmm. two, so negative two. So it's okay. No, the- it's Not okay then. The I mean, it must be zero denominator to be undefined. So probably I miss, Remember this, so we have to solve, uh, where was it? Is this this question? No, this is it. Oh, I can solve again, no problem. So negative let's- John, it's one. just negative two, it's not positive two. Let's, yeah. let me do this one minute. So it must be different than zero. So this is negative three times two. So X minus three times X plus two, different than zero x is different than three, 
X is different than negative two. Okay, so domain is all the real numbers except, or let's say all the real numbers except negative two and three. Okay, they makes the denominator zero. Okay, the whole means, whole means, if you remove this half when you factorize numerator and denominator. So if you remove something, if you remove something, which here, then X equals three, we are removing. So it is being called, when you see the graph, I think it will be more clear for you. Let's see the graph. It comes now. So the explanation domain is, we said. Now let's see the graph. Where is the graph? Where is the graph? Yeah. Now, do you see now? Here, X is equal to three. This is three, it's a whole. We remove this, we can remove this. Okay? So vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, no oblique since two is equal to two, and that's it. Any question? No. No. Okay, let's go now. What is the next? Your turn. Can you try this? I am waiting your answer. Chat screen you can put. So just. Till now, no answer. I am waiting. You can use the elimination method. So let me help you with this. You are there. So first of all, horizontal asymptote. What is the horizontal asymptote? Tell me. Y equal one. Sorry again. Horizontal asymptote here. This is two, this is two. So one, one, horizontal asymptote is y is one. Do I have here what it says vertical, horizontal asymptote is y is negative two? No, it's wrong. Y is one, it could be. Y is one, it could be. Uh, y is one, it could be. Now vertical asymptote. When I check the vertical asymptote, it says negative two, negative five, negative five, negative two. So if I find the vertical asymptote, I can eliminate something. And then <coughs> let's see, how can I do this? Let's go on. Now, how can I uh, factorize this? Two and five, I think two times five is 10, two plus five is seven. And what about this? How can I factorize? Uh, negative four times five, negative four times five, negative 20, negative four plus five, positive one. So I am writing, x minus four, x plus five, divided by x plus two, x plus five. First of all, since I can cancel out, x is equal to negative five is a whole. Is it clear? This is a whole, is it clear? Yes. Yes, no? Yes. So a cannot be, since it says no whole, here negative five, okay. Here negative five, okay. Here negative five, okay. The problem is a whole at negative five comma three. Okay. So when X is negative five, I can put what will be Y value. I can check it. Let's do it. Since I cancel out, when you put negative five here, negative five, negative four, negative nine. Negative five plus two, tell me. 
Negative three? Yes, no? Yes or no? Just put in here. Yes. And then this will be positive three. So the whole is here. So it could be answered, yes. It could be answered, yes, but this no. So I eliminated A and C. Now for the vertical asymptote, now what can I say that X is equal to negative two. So vertical asymptote X is negative two. Where is it? We already eliminated this. Vertical says this, so eliminated. So directly result is this. And it says vertical is this, horizontal is this. Yeah, it's finished. The answer is D.